so I can play a little bit off stream and we can uh, try and go through act three. I noticed that while I was uh, fighting the, um, the act two boss, I wasn't doing that much damage. And that is a little bit concerning. So I'm thinking maybe we go out and we go do a heist. <clears throat> we do a heist and get a little, you know, better gear, hopefully. Maybe something cool will drop. Maybe. Right? That would just make life and then, uh, are there any, are there any quests or anything? No. So yeah, maybe, maybe we'll try and, uh, let's deposit everything. Do I need to withdraw it when I do it? Yes. Prepare heist? Yeah, I have to pull out a blueprint. Or, um, a contract. <clears throat> So what do I do with these level 6 contracts? They're basically useless, right? Like, I don't need level 6 gear. We're gonna try and do the highest level one we got, which is the level 19 one. Um, Greetings. Reward room monsters take reduced damage. Okay, so we'll do this. Can unlock one mechanical chest after lockdown per wing. Okay. Uh, level 17, objective, forbidden lamp. Travel fee 20, hiring fee 18, rings cut. Okay, so it's going to cost 80 in total, and then the reward is going to be, I guess, 211 or something like that. Okay. I, I, I don't see the value of collecting coins, I'm guessing. Like, in the late game, you're going to need a lot of coins, so you need to work your way up. Alright, so... So we can kill them, no problem, and alert level will not go up. Okay, good to know. Okay. And, uh, let's see. There are some doors over here. There's a seemingly a mechanical chest over here. Begin brute force, okay. Dude, he just... <laughs> he just... He's a battering ram. He just runs through the freaking door. That's really cool. Instead of lock picking, you just run through the whole thing. That is awesome. Alright, so... I don't want any of this stuff. Um... Okay, we'll, we'll just keep walking. So, so I'm looking for... What am I looking for? I'm looking for more damage, right? So that means I... A good scepter... Um, a good wand. Uh, even a shield and amulet will work. We need some spell damage. Okay, that's another Karu reward. Which is like, sure, but we already have one, right? I mean, those are really good leveling items, though. Okay, leveled up. That's good. So I, I probably do want to be a little over-leveled for these zones, because it looks like running away is actually pretty difficult. Um, so I, I guess if I if I don't have my defenses set up, the next best thing I could do is just, you know, get really over leveled, and then we'll be tankier. Um, let's see, chaos damage. So I could pick up chaos damage, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up life instead, and then I'll pick up chaos later once I actually have curses and hex blast. And I'll pick up Hexmaster, and I'll travel along here. I'll pick up Skittering Runes. Right? Plus 10 maximum Doom. That's pretty good. And then we'll come down here. We'll pick up Whispers of Doom. That's not that good over there. And then, I don't know. We'll figure the rest out, I guess. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. This is starting to look more and more like my Berserker. Like, there's a... Uh, there's a chance that we're going to run into disaster in the late game. That's my concern. Maybe we'll just use Hex Blast, right? Maybe Impending Doom might not work. <laughs> I looked a little bit on PoE Ninja and there's nobody running Doom Blast. Um, and that says something. Maybe the damage is not good enough. Alright, I cannot ID this just yet. Okay, so I have... So I can basically loot everything in a zone. 
without concern of raising alert level to the max, right? Here we go. Make it quick. I mean, I got all the chests and... Alright, we're gonna grab it. Okay, we got it. Now we escape. I mean, I just... I dropped the flame wall and I run, right? They're not even chasing. What? They're just... There's nobody around. You just go super fast. You know, last time when I actually tried to fight them, it was a lot harder. Why are they dipping? Oh, Ember Alert. Boy, that's how it's done. Uh... Sorry, my phone was going haywire because we received an Amber Alert for a kidnapping. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I can't help, but good to know. I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, so I got the Forbidden Lamp. I talked to the fence. I sell the Forbidden Bidden Lamp, I get 211 coins. Perfect. And then I guess I get these other items as well. I mean, this one gives a little bit more strength and dex. So I'll equip this. It's about the same. But I didn't get much of anything else, huh? I guess I skipped a lot of the yellow items, but still. Hmm. I was hoping to get a little bit more. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so these guys are... Slowly leveling up. I, You know what? Let's do another heist, because I was hoping to get some items. Find something to sell. Uh, not you. Hmm? Wayfinder. Who's the barber? Purchase drink. items. Oh, I can, I can purchase contracts here. See you later. That would just make life okay, okay. Yeah. and you... You guys are all the different helpers. Tibbs, the giant. Okay. And there's no one else around. There's Kurai who does... Administrator. Okay, she's doing nothing right now. Um, okay, yeah. Let's, let's prepare for another heist. We will do the bunker. Um, we'll bring the engineer. Sign contract. Okay, we're gonna do this a lot faster. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Uh, you do know what I, I think you can go pretty fast here. I, I mean, Frost Blink is probably not the skill to use. Um, I would imagine something like... You know, Flame Dash is probably the way to go. But... I mean, for now, it's probably fine. There's a blue pack over there. So do these guys actually drop items? I actually don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, blue pack. Blue packs drop items for sure, so if they're not... Okay, they do drop items. So any items dropped here is considered contraband. Oh my god, they're just waiting at the door to kill you. Well, a ball orb, that's good. Secure, okay. Nice. So that's quite a bit of stuff. Okay, let's keep going. Some currency, which is good. Some rings, and you know what? You can you can really do this fast. Now that I'm looking at this, you can do this pretty fast. Because you can just dodge these guys. Oh, but it gets pretty spicy, I guess. Gotta be careful. Okay, I understand now. Uh, let's drop that. 
Is he actually getting hurt? He is. Ow. What are those contraptions? Are those like traps or something? Okay, the item is at the end. And if I open up any more, I'm going to trigger too many traps. So I actually have to just run through here. The alert level is going to get too high. So I'll just... Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to see if I can still reach those chests. Alright. So are these chests locked now? Or no? Yeah, they are. I can't access them. Okay, good to know. Hold the door! Oh, they're just waiting. You can't freaking... Okay, 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 okay. Those those guys waiting, that's that's death about to happen, okay? You uh you just run. These guys are kinda dumb. Like where are they running? That's one th one thing I will say about these guards. They're they're kinda kinda stupid. Okay, my inventory's full. And we're out. You just run, you just go fast. I bet like phasing builds would do well this league where you just you just run through everybody. Okay. Oh, what is this? A fractured item. That's interesting. Got a fractured shield. 13% increased attack damage fractured. That is really cool. I can't wait till, till we get to the end game when we actually see like a lot of fractured items. That is really, really cool. Okay, that helmet is actually kind of decent. Yeah. I, I still didn't get damage though. I still didn't get any damage items and I'm starting to think maybe... Maybe that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. You know what? I, I'll accept it. I'll accept it for what it is and hopefully I'll pick up some better items in the near future. Let's put away some of my uniques. We've got quite a few already. This is one of those leagues where you're just... Unique items are going to drop like crazy. You're just going to drop all the time. I'm sure of it. Okay, and then you can put that away. Uh, Vol Arc. Probably don't need it. Okay, let's do a little bit of progression, shall we? Let's see if we can maybe uh, pick up Hex Blast. If we can do it fast enough. Dude, we just we just drop flame wall and then we just dash through everything, right? Is that the plan? It doesn't do that much damage. Actually, no, it's not that it doesn't do that much damage. I'm not doing that much damage. Just not doing that much damage in general. Probably because I have flat spell damage, right? Flame wall isn't affected by the flat spell damage. It probably would prefer increased spell damage. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Like, uh... The Blazing Salvo... Probably likes it a little bit better. Um... I don't know, I think I can actually drop Spell Cascade now. I know it was looking cool and stuff, but it's really starting to do ZDPS, right? <laughs> Just no damage whatsoever. Zero, zero DPS. So, um, you know, instead, let's try to just drop a single flame wall, run forward, hopefully they die in the flame wall. If not, no big deal. Good luck. 
Okay, so we we have rescued Clarissa, but we need to find Tolman. And I haven't done any of the trials, which makes sense. It makes total sense. And that's something I need to look at doing probably pretty soon as well. Okay, so how much does a single flame wall do? It does a little bit more damage. Yeah. Okay. I can accept that. Right? It's one of those that I didn't forget it kind of spells. I think for progression, especially if you you don't plan on killing everything, probably one of the things you can do is you just drop the flame wall and you run. Oh, freezing is not good. Otherwise, you know, you just try and clear everything using Blazing Salvo. Like when you need single target, I think you just go real close and you drop Blazing Salvo. It's probably going to deal pretty good single target DPS. Okay, so that's what we're going to be running for now. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Hex Blast, I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm not I'm not getting that much damage though. It's just it's not making enough of an impact. I mean I'm leveling fine, but more damage. I'm requesting for more damage. Uh Okay. Well, let's keep going. We'll just keep up with the strategy until, you know, we have enough enough gear to change it up. And what's the strategy you ask? It's basically dropping a flame wall and running for our lives. Drop a flame wall and you run. You know, eventually they'll die. It might take a while. It's damage over time after all. But I th I'm pretty sure it's enough damage for them to actually die. With bosses, it's a little bit different. Or like with bigger mobs, you need a couple of those blazing salvo hits, but... Otherwise, the flame wall is actually doing the job. See? Frost Blink is also, you know... It's nothing to sneeze at. I'm just saying. Something like this, you make persecution a way of life. Okay, okay, you gotta follow the strat. Don't deviate. If you're gonna deviate, no need to deviate too much. You actually get a lot of AoE when you do it like this, which is quite interesting. Blazing Self is an interesting skill. You, you know, you use it from far away, you get a lot of coverage. Close up, shotgun. It's pretty cool. I, I think it's probably one of the most unique skills this league. You know, you got like... What was it? Crackling... Crack... Crack plants? And, uh... You know, it's kind of like Divine Ire or Arc, like in the way you build it, but Blazing Salvo is kind of unique, right? It's pretty interesting. Although I would love to try Crackling Lance. You know what? I, I would love to try some of these new skills. So when do you get Crackling Lance? Is it available? Let's see, Crackling Lance, PoE. EOE, it's available level 28. Level 28, that's Gravisius. Okay, so, so it's not available just yet. Are there any new skills that are available? Ooh, there's a passive point here. Didn't you? I totally forgot about it. Perfect. I'm glad it came back. Okay. Were there any new skills? Wintertide brand, that's not a new skill. Mm, the, the blade vortex, fire trap, lightning trap, searing bond, bone, flash, ice, nova, storm, call, blazing, salvo, arc, flame surge, parasite, incinerate, ice spear, 
Weather on Earth, storm call, ice, body swap. No, it doesn't look like there's anything new. Infernal Legion. You know what? I should pick up... Um, Where is it? Flame dash. I should pick up flame dash. And then replace it with the frost blink. Okay, no no new skills, unfortunately, but that's okay. So we're gonna do flame dash here. Hmm. I was hoping to find Crackling Lance, but unfortunately, that's not yet available. That's okay. So how much single target do I get if I do this? A decent amount. If you can uh, spread it nicely. Or if you, if you can group up like these Blazing Salvo hits. You get some decent... Uh, oh my god. You get some decent single target is what I was saying, but... I've never get, got like destroyed this hard by uh, the first piety before. Not in a while. What in the world? My damage is not good. I mean, the skill looks cool, but my damage is not good. Okay, I'm not afraid to admit it now. Like This is the honest to god truth. And to be fair, you know, I haven't really been focusing on getting better gear, but it's not like I've been ne neglecting it either, though, you know? Jesus, just enough. Okay. Yeah, I actually can't get her down to uh, zero HP. I just gotta whittle her down until she gets half and let, you know, let her go away. Follow the normal story mode. Normally, you know, you can... You do so much damage, you can actually get her down to zero HP before she leaves. Can't do that here. Which is... It, it, it concerns me a little, I won't lie. Hopefully when we switch over to Hex Blast, it'll be... A little bit better, because the Blazing Salvo, I might, the DPS is starting to dwindle a little bit. I know it's probably still pretty good. If you build it properly, but obviously my tree hasn't been properly built either. You know, I, I did stuff like get curses, you know, with more doom and more starting doom with curses. Like, like stuff that just doesn't make sense for the skill, right? So I don't really want to blame the skill. It's, I don't think the skill is necessarily bad. It, it looks cool. The damage seems pretty good if you build it properly. You know, I'm sure it'll be pretty strong, but my tree is just not optimized for it at all. Like, not even close. Goodbye. Okay, so these are all the auras. I mean... Okay. If I'm gonna go curses, running Bane isn't a bad, bad idea, actually. So, like, I could run... Um, let's see. Wow, I'm still using white items. Like, that doesn't help either. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm here for the sockets, right? I, I could run Bane and then two curses. No, Bane and one curse, right? Does Bane give additional curses? No, just one curse. Okay, so Bane... Uh... Despair. Linked hex curses are also applied to those enemies. Oh wait, hex blast is right here. Oh hey. Okay, okay, okay. So we can do hex blast. We can buy one curse. Uh, what does flame wall do? Do they have lower resistance? They do not. Hmm. Hmm. 
okay, we can we can mess with this a little bit. What if we do like hex blast? Combustion with something, and then over here we do flammability. What's my aura? It's not damage over time. You could do crit. The Hex Blast has 4% crit chance. That's so low. There's no... Hmm. Wrath? Extra lightning damage? Anger. Anger would work, I suppose. You could do like Hex Blast Ignite. No, that wouldn't work with a cultist. I mean, for now you could. For now you could. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm just running this through my head because I haven't done enough research. Um... Hmm. Is that I mean, uh, sure, you get 10% more spell damage. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. So what you do, you would... Okay, we don't need Bane then. We want... um, Well, Hex Blast I can't use yet. We want to level Combustion some more. So we want Zealotry as our aura, right? So we're dropping Herald of Ice. And then we want Zealotry. So we... we Drop this. And then we got flammability as the curse. And, you know, really I would want to link it with like faster casting or something. Yeah. Right? That's, that would be my guess. Okay. Uh, you could go Archmage. You could go Archmage Hex Blast. Arcane Cloak, Archmage Hex Blast with like um, Wrath. Lots of lightning damage, but you, you wouldn't do Occultist with that. You would do something like Elementalist, right? Or in Inquisitor or, or something or Assassin. Um, if we go Occultist. We either scale the, the 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 chaos damage, or you scale the cold resistance because occultist has minus cold resistance. Okay, okay, I'm I'm I, I'm slowly wrapping this, starting to uh, get a grasp of what I want to do. Um, is blazing salvo still my skill until level twenty six or level twenty eight? That will still be my skill. Flame wall. Okay, so flammability. Arcane Surge, Faster Casting. That's my curse. Okay, yeah, on this button. And then, Zealotry is my aura. And then, I guess Blazing Salvo is there for now. We'll figure out, and it's going to become Hex Blast. I hope this works. <laughs> I'm still not sure in my head. It's kind of works uh we should try and get ourselves a four link i think that's the next thing can i get a four link in act three probably right it can't be that hard okay so down to the sewers let's get the proper levels that we need i thought i would need to kill gravisius in order to do hex blast but looks like that is not the case which is good very good it means we can try it out very early, as long as you get the necessary levels. Okay, I don't need to curse unless I'm fighting, like, rares or something. So, don't go cursing everything. Even though, you know, you, you want to play a curse build. I understand, Amnix. I understand, but... Gotta be patient. Ow, this dude hurts. Does he get the buff 
this charge skill as well because if he does this is this is not fair Okay. All right. I'm, now I'm I'm gonna guess that getting to level twenty eight is gonna be easy peasy because you know you're so early in the game. Getting levels is rarely a problem. I, the, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a four link. I'm looking for an upgrade to my wands, probably. There's a four link, but it's the wrong one. Man, Blazing Salvo, it's... It's not doing what I want it to. I guess it's clearing okay, but... Okay. Now for the last bust, it's probably somewhere over here. Now, there's a four link, but that's blue, blue, red, red. I think I need four blues, basically. Okay, this is not the right way. We got one level, which is great. Now I just need one more level. Okay, so now I can start looking at working on the curses, right? Um, so now picking up chaos damage is actually... Not a bad idea. Let's let's start getting, you know, doom rate. Increase the doom, which potentially increases your hex blast damage, I suppose. And uh, until I can get doom blast on impending doom, because I really want to play with impending doom. That seems like a really cool support gem. But until we can get that, you know, we're we're working hex blast as our main skill, right? Oh. Okay. Why does it have this color? Is it like a... Hmm. I don't know, we'll have to see. Oh, this is like my first essence too. Okay, not too hard. What was the essence? Physical damage. Ah, not necessary. I would love to get a little bit of spell damage though. Or even even flat damage or something. Um, let's see. These two stone rings, I think I could transmute it and hope for something good. Unfortunately, it got poo pooed. It is poo poo. Wait, I got all three busts, right? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Really want to hit that level 28. Really want to try out Hex Blast. You know what, though? Instead of Arcane Surge, I probably want something like. Uh, Increased AoE. Oh, but increased AoE is a level, uh, it's an Act 4 gem or something like that, right? So I won't get it right now either way. I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I want it, I can't get it. Because you can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometime, you might find you get what you need. All right, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Things are, things are on the up and up. Look at that, I'm already like super excited, super hopeful of our new skill. All of a sudden, it feels like I have more damage. I don't know if I actually do. Maybe it's just like a... 
you know maybe maybe i was on like a downturn mentally you know things didn't look that good and immediately i'm like oh my god it's it's over this build sucks my character sucks but hey we're level 27 okay we have like uh we have 60 levels to go before we hit a like truly hit a brick wall and already i'm like oh my you know my life is over this is this is very much a reflection of real life okay you're 27 years old you're having a maybe potentially a quarter life crisis oh i don't know what to do with my life hey man you got your whole life ahead of you no need to worry you just keep grinding it out and all of a sudden you find a four link and then you're like whoa I'm a doctor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and we are like, whoa, you know? Maybe maybe it's not that bad after all. Oh. That's not bad at all. 44 life and double resistances? Yeah. In fact, it's better than this. I muted myself. Dude, I, I really want to get to level 28. That'd be great. That would be great right now. I just want to try Hex Blast before I finish. That's all I want. I'm super excited about that skill. But I mean, I'm, I'm progressing at a good speed, though. You know, it felt kind of bad, like I said. And all of a sudden, I, nothing changed, okay? Nothing changed. It was a mentality change. All of a sudden, it just felt better. Don't ask me why. Because I can't answer. Oh, the defenses are still a problem, though. <laughs> why are defenses a problem? Resistances. If you're actually wondering, if, if you ever get to a point where you're like, like, if you're a new player, and then, you know, things are going well, your offense seems fine. You're one-shotting everything. They're all dying, kind of like this. Right? You have like a little bit of spell damage, either that's spell percentage or flat spell damage. Or if you're playing a melee build, um, you have some attack damage or you know you have a decent weapon and like everything's dying. Offense is not a problem, but defense is a real problem. First thing you look at is uh, your resistances, okay? If you're a new player, check out your resistances. Fire, cold, and lightning. If they're not at 75, that is why you're dying. Oh, but I'm like at 40. That's that's pretty high already. No, it does not matter. 75. Try and get yourself to 75% resistances. That's actually really important for survivability's sake. Um, it's probably why you're dying, like honestly. And you don't have survivability, maybe, if you don't have leech or something. But first thing you look at is resistances. Then you look at life. Then you look at all the other survivability stuff. Okay, we got Hex Blast. So it was Hex Blast. Not Spell Cascade. Control Destruction. And something. X blast control destruction. Jeez, I don't know. G was okay. So flammability and faster casting can go together. Okay, we drop LMP. We drop blazing salvo. There goes our main skill. Hex blast. Oh no, we dropped Flame Wall. Where's Blazing Salvo? Where did it go? Here. Control Destruction. Okay. What's the third one? A added. One sec.
All right, sorry, 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 sorry. I had to back out, do something real quick. Uh, we needed a support gem for Hex Blast, right? So, hmm. You can do added lightning. You could do added cold. Put it there. Uh, probably you want some fire damage, but that might not be easy to come by. Conk effect, I don't like. Don't like the idea of that. Elemental focus, more elemental damage that does nothing. Is there something where which gives me more chaos damage? Deadly ailments. I mean, ailments is not an option either. Add added cold, added cold or added lightning. Maybe we we do flat. What's the multiplier on Hex Blast? 130% effectiveness. So, okay, so added damage isn't that bad. Yeah, like added lightning right here. Um, there's also Void Manipulation. 25% more chaos damage. That's probably best. Okay, so we're going to switch it up again. So we're going to do Hex Blast down here. So faster casting flammability, and then I get arcane surge back, which is good. And then hex blast, controlled destruction, um, void manipulation. So on a three link. We live, we are okay, DPS looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. And now we start scaling curse. We start scaling chaos damage. Good. And then we have to see what the damage is like with Impending Doom. Potentially it's not that good. We'll have to see. Okay, let's increase our Doom rate. All right? So it's a two button. The two button thing. You, you, you curse, you hex blast. Curse, hex blast. You gotta press both, unfortunately. But hopefully, uh... The AoE's good. Can I hex blast without cursing? I can totally hex blast without cursing. Does it have AoE? It has no AoE. What if I just cast this super fast? No, that's not a thing. <laughs> now, you do need to wait for it to gain a little bit of doom, right? You gotta do this. I mean, if it's just, uh, if he's, he's just on his own, you don't really need to. I mean, okay, here's the thing. There are some interesting, hold on. Malicious intent. <laughs> So you can turn Hex Blast AoE, right? With a malicious intent, because curses can start with with four doom. So or hexes can start with four doom. So if you can you know four doom is enough. You can remove it removes the hex with the most doom, right? So for clear, you can potentially do like blasphemy curse or some kind of weird curse on hit. You know what though? No, it's doing decent damage. And then curse on hit or blasphemy curse and then Hex Blast will consume the curse and it has like some starting doom already. Um, and then uh, you, you get AoE on Hex Blast instead of like if you just cast on its own a single target, right? I mean, that's one option. I mean, if you can, get, if you can clump them up, the AoE is pretty decent, I would think. There's also the option of doing some like weird stuff like shocks, ignite proliferation, you know, stuff like that. 
How do I know he's at max doom? I guess I can't really tell. Did I get the soul fight? I did. Okay, good. Okay, okay. So there are a few play a few different ways we can play around with X Blast. What's going on? So that is good to know. I kind of want to play with it a little bit more. I know I said I was going to go, but I kind of want to play with it a little bit more. A little bit. Okay, so let's sell all the gems we like. don't need anymore. Flame wall. Blazing Salvo, thank you. You served your purpose. Truly. Thank you for your service. We are now going to try some different stuff. Uh, yeah, more reduce elemental damage, more spell damage. Okay, so it does pure chaos damage. There's some, there's some elemental damage, but that's from the wands, right? Okay. Let's do a Solarius part real quick. I mean, just on its own. As long as you uh, apply Curse and then Hex Blast. Damage is pretty good. The AoE is not good. But, again, you got a two-button combo right here. It's not bad. I wish... The Curse had a little bit more AoE. Otherwise, it's pretty decent. Um, I, I think going Blasphemy might be an option. I'd love to see the insides of this spell. Uh, just to make life a little bit easier. Okay, hold on. Is Blasphemy available right now? Blasphemy POE. Blasphemy support. Um, it's available level 31. Act 3, fixture of... It's available. Okay, okay. So let's give it a try real quick. Okay, so what I'm thinking is because there's some starting doom... Um, yes. Now, unfortunately, if I do this, I won't be able to... Wait, I can't get Blasphemy yet? Oh, wait, a fixture of fate. That's a library quest. Right? Yeah, that's a library quest. Okay, so Blasphemy isn't available just yet. <laughs> Maybe it's not that good. Because if you is if you Blasphemy curse, you basically have only four Doom, which means it doesn't get the more damage multipliers. So even though you get some clear doing that, you'll lose out on single target. I could see it being okay when you have multiple curses later on so when you fight big packs you know you just run up and you hex blast them and you don't need to curse and then when you fight like big bosses you self curse them but right now right now I could benefit a lot from doing that but whatever Well, actually no, if I if I get into a boss fight I would have to like turn blasphemy curses on and off, which might be annoying. But yeah, like if you blasphemy curse you, you don't benefit from uh from having um any doom, you know like the doom won't gain at all, so But you know what? I'm okay with this two-button style. It feels okay. I, I just think if you had Blasphemy, it would go a lot faster. Anyways, that's fine. That's fine. Can't wait till we get Impending Doom. Or Doom Blast, or whatever it's called. 
Doom Blast PoE. Is it on the wiki? Where does it drop? Mm, okay, we'll find out later. It's another contract. Okay. Oh. It does a lot of damage if you let the Doom build up. And once you get more AoE on the curses, I can see it being pretty good. What's this black stuff? What if I just spam Doom Blast on someone? It doesn't do enough damage. Oh, he's hexproof. When they're hexproof, they still gain doom, I'm pretty sure. It's just that the flammability does nothing. Mm, I don't want to go there. Okay, I mean, we got to play around with Doom Blast. I'm gonna need to experiment with it a little bit more, I think. Uh, but for now, this is probably a good place to end it. We are now, let's see, let's go to the sewers. Let's get the waypoint. We're now in the latter part of Act 3. I would say we're probably 60 to 70% through it. Still need to kill Piety, then we need to kill Dominus, and then we're all good to go. We're moving on to Act 4. Pretty good result in day one. I call it day one, even though my day one is my day one, even though everyone else, you know, it's been a week, over a week of playing PoE in Heist. I hope you guys are really enjoying the league. I am. I'm really excited to find out more about, um, you know, this. Oh, I don't have enough decks. Dex and strength. Maybe I should keep that around. I'm really excited to experiment a little bit more with this character. But uh, for now, we are going to end it right here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Otherwise, keep in touch, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.